right, Biko. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. <laughs> yeah, well, there was something going on about Chocobo Sam and their parents there. Maybe we'll get more of the story later on. Collect golden plumes. Okay, that's not like a... I mean, we don't have any right now. That's the end of the story. Rest spot. Where am I going? Wait, what? Where's that marker going? Nowhere? Grasslands, two out of three. The verdant countryside, which borders the outskirts of Midgar, is littered with modest settlements and homesteads, including Bill's Chocobo Ranch. Midgard Samur, a giant serpent, has reportedly laid claim to a portion of the wetlands, beyond which can be found the Mithril Mine, from where the once prized ore was extracted and shipped to every corner of the world. We can start dropping pins everywhere. But wait, where is where is Pico supposed to be around? Do we know at all? Oh wow, we did so much already. Hold up. Follow the tracks. All we gotta do is follow the tracks. Well, where did the tracks start? Do we know that at all? Yeah, because the marker is just like... Whoa, Aerith! How'd you get over there already? <laughs> Did they tell me where to start? Well, they're probably... It's not in the ranch. We probably have to leave the ranch first. Hello, little buddy. Maybe we could just kidnap this one. Call it a day. How many do we need anyway? Do we need one for every party member? Because that's quite a bit. Where, where are their tracks? I mean, I don't see... Am I supposed to be looking for feathers? There's gotta be something I'm looking for, right? It just said follow the tracks. <laughs> Hello, give me the yellow paint. I'm dumb. Give me the yellow paint, please. Ah! These tracks? Okay, I think we're finally onto something. <laughs> Definitely didn't take me a while to find. But the chocobo feet are a dead giveaway. Big and gigantic. Uh, but also very easily lost if I don't pay attention. I feel like we should be looking ahead because it's yellow and bright and we should just see it in the distance. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract them by throwing stones you pick up. L1 and square. He's got friends. Why don't we just kidnap the friends as well? I think that would be a wonderful idea. Do I have to stay in bushes? Well, as long as you don't turn around. I'm sort of out in the open right now, though. Yes, that is what I've been doing. Oh god, I can't do this split vision. <laughs> I just gotta hope it's not paying attention. Okay, that's much faster. <laughs> I want to try throwing rocks, though. Doesn't seem like... Oop. Doesn't seem like I can. I'm pressing L1. I don't see anything changing. Throw a rock behind the chocobo. Sleeping. Oh, we can't throw a rock because we don't have a rock yet. Is that the problem? Sure is. You, buddy, look behind you. Wow! That rock is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Hurry up! 
your mind. Uh, <sighs> Got him. Let's go home, little buddy. Just the cutest? <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. <laughs> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. <laughs> this music is so happy. <laughs> Do you guys want to get caught? Do you guys want to come with? We don't mind more. <laughs> He's just looking at me. I always wonder, does Cloud have to gel his hair every morning? Or is it just naturally like that? It seemed to have been genetic from his mom. I don't know what his dad looks like, but his mom had that spikiness going on as well. Well, we got the the right chocobo. One's not going to be enough though. We we needed like five or so. What about Red? I guess Red is just going to ride alongside us. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Red. Oh 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 oh. Oh, that was just random Mako or something. Hey! Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure, though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Sounds good to me. Hey, Cloud. Hmm? Oh! Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You... Do remember me, don't you? I wish I didn't. <laughs> I can actually say it. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts oh. could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. I'm afraid it will be. You need more battle intel. <laughs> That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after ah. the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. Mm. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. So you're telling me you're standing right- <laughs> Chan module! <laughs> As the tower's close by, allow me to accompany you. I was just gonna say, you were right here and you didn't do it. But okay, thank you for teaching me. I kind of forgot about the part about how you were created by Hojo. 
Is your mother Genova too? Should I be worried? All right, what do we got to do here? Here we are. Bringing the world to life. Republic of Junon. That's the Republic. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> All right, I see. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chadley will employ the data you will collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the towers you encountered and help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Tell me more about the Remnant Wave Towers. These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? Republic of Junon, not really a place I'm too familiar with. Heard the name, heard the name Junon before, but in terms of how this place stands in the whole Wutai, Midgar, Shinra relations, not sure. Developing Materia. With each piece of World Intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new Materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? The Combat Simulator. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the Combat Simulator. Or my Combat Simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? We already have something in the combat simulator, maybe later. Specific intel-related tasks. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Oh my goodness. Life spring surveys. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To oh. Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. Combat Assignments While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about- Let's destroy the ecosystem. Crystal Analysis in certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. 
If you still have... Proto Relic Salvaging. Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I was so excited. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. <laughs> At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions. No, I think that's it. Do you happen to have any? No. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Oh, already? Thank you. Grasslands data points. We have... We have how much? We have 20. Oh, fire and ice materia. All in one? Wait, all in one? How does that work? Autocast. Morph. Allows you to turn enemies into items with morph. Enemies whose health has fallen below a certain amount can be defeated in this fashion. What? That sounds crazy. Let's get it. Auto unique ability materia. Allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively controlled during battle. Tifa will also use unbridled strength when not actively controlled if this materia has been equipped. Sounds... Sounds like it'll be good in the long run. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Oh. Combat simulator updates. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete the challenges to get materia. I think we can think about that later on. Yeah, the Titan thing. Speaking of which... How do I... I... I know I have materia for having save files. I don't know where to get it. Maybe I'll look that up for next time. I have to go collect it somewhere, right? I'm just not sure where exactly that place would be. That's fine. I did see there's a lot of stuff happening here. Oh, icons on a map. Oh, hey, can I get my are you can I get my chocobo now? Maybe that'll make things easier. I'll be back for you, Chadley. So you you're gonna be here, right? You'll be here, and I'll I'll just come back to you from time to time. Okay, sounds good. Oh, ooh, everyone's relationship meters are out. I feel like ninety nine percent of people are just gonna go for good relationships with everyone. I can't really imagine people just trying to piss off everyone. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Press R1 to use your choco whistle and summon your bird to your side while out exploring. Know that you can only call a chocobo in a region once you have wrangled that region's bird. What? Okay. So, who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Aerith, new experiences all day long. You gonna go with him? Choco Boutique. Choco Boutique. I don't have any items. Oh yeah, we could get like the Shinra helmets or whatnot. Hello, Pico. Nice to meet you. I guess we're friends from today onward. We're a one-stop shop for all your chocobo needs. I have some golden plumes, which I I don't want any Shinra stuff. What? Why would I want Shinra stuff? Is this just... Is this cosmetic? There's no stats on it, right? I mean, I have to get it, though, because... Because I need to complete the quest. <laughs> if you ever want to change your Chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Okay. Thank you. New discovery made. There we go. I mean, okay, fine. Edit colors. Oh, okay. I'll have the red one. Sure. Yeah, it goes nice with the yellow. It's ketchup and mustard. 
All right. Am I free to go for now? Should I be back? Oh, there's Chadley. He's moved a little bit too. Okay, cool. I, I guess I'll see you later. What is this? What is that? Follow Billy to the training grounds. Oh, yes, Aerith. You need to get some practice in. I can call my chocobo right now. Here's where we get our birds in shape <laughs> for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? You're, uh, you're gone. You're here. Hi. We good? Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Riding practice. Hustle the chocobo. Use the training grounds on Bill's ranch to get the hang of chocoba chocoback riding. Pass each of the goal posts in order and complete the course as quickly as you can. R2 or L3 to dash. And then jump his circle. Oh my god, okay, there's gonna be... Okay, there's gonna be time limits and stuff. And we want the good stuff. Go, buddy! Go, buddy! Can we be any faster? I don't know if we can be... Oh. Oh, we can cut the corners a little bit, I guess. It's not very clear the track that we're going on until we see it, though, basically. Here, in, in this case, it's just a, a circle around the lands. Okay, I, I got first. By barely a second. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match! Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer! We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? <laughs> then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Oh! Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. <laughs> Aerith appealing to Cloud's mercenary tendencies, as opposed to being like, Hey, we should be helping people because we're good people, and good people help other people. <laughs> Odd jobs. People around the world, uh, people the world over are willing to pay top guild for Cloud's hand for higher services. To track these odd jobs, open the map and select quests. Certain settlements will have a notice board, and people will put offers there. Tackle the odd jobs to get rewards. Deepen your bonds with your allies and increase your party level. Fast traveling. You can warp to any unlocked waypoint, such as towns, repair chocobo stops, and activated Remno Wave towers. You can only fast travel to chocobo stops once you have wrangled the region's chocobo. Okay, sounds good, I think. That was a lot. What's up? N no, I'm good. Thanks. Crescent Moon Charm. We just got. Oh, Chadley has his own tab! Did you see that? My goodness. Item Transmuter. Oh, I forgot about this completely. Antidote. I want to increase my craftsmanship level, so I will make one. Numinous Ashes, I don't have enough to make Smelling Salts, but I can make Echo Mist. I can also make Mist Potion. Oh, this is um for everybody, AoE Potion. Alright. Can I... Ah, 
The ones without the green check mark are the ones I haven't done yet. Numinous ashes are something I'm missing on. I can also make mixed potions. Good. That's it for now. This item now requires fewer materials to transmute. Cool. Wow, there's a lot of different systems here. Now I have a thing. Power wrist guards. I can have Crescent Moon Charm, which decreases my attack a little bit. Oh, the Moon Charm doesn't give any... It doesn't give any stats? I'm looking at the stats beneath the name of the thing, and it's all zero. A charm imbued by the fervent desire to be by one side for eternity. Oh. Goodness, that's a, that's a big commitment. Maybe we should give it to Tifa. Okay, but it doesn't really do anything. It's just a thing. Can we even see it on her? Probably not. Alright, thanks. Chloe! Did you want something from us? Gotta be on the lookout for the ashes. Hey, Chadley. Bye, Chadley. Is this the thing about Chocobo Sam? And your parents? Oh, hey! You're back! I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Should we ask? It's a little bit... What happened to your parents? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. I don't mind doing it, but saying this is okay, right? This is flavor dialogue, I guess? Ask your brother. I would, but it's a gift. He's had to work so hard since we're on our own. I wanted to do something nice for him. Of course. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. And I'm guessing the fact that Aerith is standing next to me and talking right now, it's decided by what kind of quest we're doing. It's not decided by whoever's in my party. I don't have to worry about that, right? I'm assuming. It's because it's flowers and flowers equals Aerith. Yada yada yada. How do you know Sam? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason mom and dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. Hmm, maybe we'll find out more later. We'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Technically, though, since we have the chocobo now, we can cross the swamps, so we don't have to do any of this. Is my understanding. What is that? Moogle Intel. World activation. Eastern Seaboard Tower. Something right at the edge here. Phenomenon Intel. Coastal Lookout. Fiend Intel. And we can go back to Calm? Side Hustle. All right, all right, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So this world intel, Chocobo intel, all rounders of the grasslands. I can fast travel here. I can only fast travel to places I've been to before. Is that it? Let's... Let me fast travel to the docks first. Oh, that was really fast. Hey, hey. Oh, the purple chests are weapons, right? Fantastic! Yes. It looks like I missed something back here. That's why I wanted to come back quickly. Especially since we wanna... If we wanna care about the proficiency stuff, then we definitely wanna get this stuff done sooner rather than later. 
Sleek Saber. Is that the one that they had on, in the shop? Maybe. Firebolt Blade. A Republic-era blade polished into a refined shape and sheen. Imbue your sword with fire and lightning while slicing a foe. Can use while airborne. Cool. I have space for another materia now. Hey, what the heck? Didn't I do this already? What? Oh, we have to do it again for every new weapon. I see. ATB Charge Rate Up or Unrelenting Punisher. Increases number of consecutive slashes with strong attacks in Punisher mode. And I can switch this out whenever I want. I don't... Oh. M morph Materia? I don't know what this means really, but I have it. Aerith, we need to... Okay, first of all, you can probably use that extra Materia then. Auto Unique Ability. But we need to get that proficiency up, so you start using the rod. But technically, can I leave? Can I leave? I don't know. Well, where do we want to start? We can start with... Uh... Oh. Wow, you're right, the flower picking thing is far. Is that picking flowers? No, this is about the swamp. So this is the main quest. This is the thing we do if we want to get out of here. Alright, I got you. I got you, I think. Activation intel? Eh, let's try to go for that. If we can. I don't see it on my little compass, though. Oh, everybody gets... Oh my god. Wow, okay. Uh, Apparently, Red gets a chocobo, too. <laughs> what the hell? He's actually holding onto the reins and stuff. Damn. Technology these days are something. Please tell me I can still pick up stuff. Yes, thank you. I don't have to get off. Good, good. Ooh, 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 fantastic. So if we want to go to the... T oh, but activating that tower probably is going to give us new stuff on the map. <laughs> Not going to be fun. Can we fight with the chocobo? What was that? Who was here? Levricon. Allow me. Avian creature that prefers grassy areas. Attacks by striking it with its sharp beak and by hurling rocks with its prehensile wings. Don't do frontal attacks while it's holding a rock? But you can use powerful offensive abilities to drop the rock. Fire! Fire, apparently. Synergy ability. Not yet, right? Firework Blade with Aerith. Oh, wanna try Morph? I don't really get Morph. Take it from here. Aerith! Adept at long range magic attacks. Square. Hit multiple targets. Hold down to charge Tempest. If you strike with a skill fully charged, it'll be a fleeting familiar to help you in battle. And she can also warp between places. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, can you heal? Arrow. Aerith can't heal anybody, but she has the best. We need to give her some healing. Sorry about that. Looking for me. Get ready. Her shifting is gonna be helpful in trying to escape. I think. Escape places. Escape, escape things. Pray. Pray. Oh no! Synergy abilities. Not yet. Not yet? Divine Punishment. How do those little bars fill up? See, that would have been a ward shift situation. Hey, why is everyone on to me? Leave me alone. Tifa! Close range combat. Quick combos. Deal damage. Yes. Basically, the attacks are square for normal attacks and then hold square for something else. Unbridled strength can enhance her unique ability. Let me handle this. Him off. I'm summoning, but I'm not gonna summon for now, I think. I need to I need to learn all this crap again. This is increasing stagger. It's already staggered. There's no escape. This one's for you. 
And I gotta start paying attention to everyone's ATB too. Use it all up. Restore HP. Tifa's fine. Tifa doesn't have much HP though. This guy's dead. You can do Blizzard. Do I have to do Blizzard so I can increase the Materia effectiveness and all? I'm sorry. Is Cloud dead? Oh, God. It's Rock! It's Rock! Moving on then. One HP. <laughs> oh, Cloud actually did die. Yeah, it says he fell unconscious. The Rock thing. <laughs> that was so chaotic, I didn't really see what happened there. With the, the Rock holding. No frontal attacks or something. Gotta start paying attention next time, but uh, for now... We can do a group healing, right? Can you do a... Was that not a thing? Multi-use. L1. Oh, multi-use just means cast it multiple times. That works. Cool. That was a bit of a disaster. We'll have to get better. <laughs> Seeing those pigeons reminded me, today I saw somebody... Somebody and their golden... No, 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 no! Wow, okay. It's okay, I'll go back up again. Somebody and their... Oh, oh. Do I do this part first? Someone and their German Shepherd, not Golden Retriever. And the, the, the German Shepherd was chasing after pigeons. The owner was like, Millie, it's just a pigeon! <laughs> And here we go! We have even more icons on the map! But at least we got some data points for it. But what was the point of going upstairs then, if we could do that down here? Nothing? Is it really just nothing? Oh, the boxes, I guess. Oh, Moogle medals. Better than nothing. <laughs> Earlier, the Chocobo practice was supposed to be for Aerith, but it was only Cloud doing it. Oh, it's automatic. The climbing is automatic, so you don't need to go near and then press some button. Grassland's Wolf. Oh, I'm bound. Some enemies will occasionally bind your party members. If your character is bound and unable to act, quickly switch to a different character and do something about it. Ready when you are. Wait, why am I red? Take over. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, did I switch parties again? I thought I had Tifa earlier. How come I switched? Switched when I wasn't looking. Oh God. A whole bunch of stuff happening. Someone looks kind of shaky. Ooh, Sorry. nearly got me just now. Did I accidentally switch parties when I wasn't looking again? It seems to be pretty easy to accidentally do. Like, I don't really... I intend to look at my party, but then it changes my party when I look at it. No. It was combat settings. Yeah, like this. Can you can you show me the Yes, that's what I wanted. Now, uh your flower picking Your flower picking specifically. Flowers from the hills. Head to the wildflower plateau to pick flowers for Chloe. So that's extraordinarily far away from air. <laughs> Why is it so far? Why is it so far? But I see. I see. Maybe in that case, it'll be a good time for me to go back to Calm too. Can we? Can we just fast travel back to Calm and then we'll head over there? 
Like, yeah, I'll do the side stuff, but not without having a bigger side quest in the backdrop. I don't want to just mindlessly start collecting random crap and... Yeah. There's something here. So how do we... Oh, did we do that person already? For Queen's Blood? How do we go back? Fast travel, air raid shelter. Oh, here. This is the front entrance. Hey, the loading is pretty fast. I'm not cutting it out. It actually is just loading that fast. Com is currently on high alert. Please limit your activities to essential business. Once you've finished, return home. Do not approach them. Everyone looks like they're returning home. They're on very high alert right now. <laughs> I just spied the cutest chick. Light pink dress, ribbon in her hair. I think I'm in love, man. Can't let this one get away. Seriously, bro? Well, I spotted a girl with the best physique I've ever seen. Wow, I can't believe I missed her. As a founding member of the singles club, I should have been paying more attention. You do know we're the only ones in that club, right? Cloud can join you. He, he is also a member of that club. For the time being. Reactors are terrible for nearby Oh. Get Shinra to send us more Mako already. People want more Mako. Is it broken? Oh, I was starting to worry. Oh, the mayor of Calm. I thought you were here to fix the. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Tell me more about the pipeline. It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgar's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tank's got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. Makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was funny. Hmm. And it's a general attitude towards Mako here. People can't live without it. It just makes things so convenient. Tell me more about this Merc. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. Okay, I'll do it. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Everyone, please! One at a time! Merc's ain't red, but I think you're the only one who's made a name for himself in the Undercity. So you don't know who he was talking about? We are working as hard as we can to get the power grid back online. You're the only hotshot I know. Most Undercity mercs don't go bragging about being ex-soldier. Why? Why wouldn't you want that? Because that's a pretty good credential, isn't it? I used to be part of, like, the most elite forces. Wouldn't more people want to hire me? But then again, people might start wondering, how come you're an ex-soldier? Like, what happened? Are you, like, dishonorably discharged or something? Snaps! What are snaps? And what is this? What is that? Check comms, community, notice board to see if any odd jobs are available. Maybe let's start by collecting all the jobs so that they appear on the map, so that we can collect them all at once and do them all at the same time. This feels very, like, yeah. I heard they took some inspiration from The Witcher 3. These notice boards, like Dragon Age, that kind of thing. A rare card lost. Bartender with a losing streak. 
got beat bad at Queen's Blood, but the real stinger was when I had to give up the rare card I'd staked on the match. I'm looking for a pro to win it back on my behalf. If you think you've got what it takes, drop by the bar. Lifeline in Peril. This is the one that we just did. There's a leak. We want to um, find someone to fix it. Livestock Spain, nature-loving farmer. A clever fiend of some sort's been preying on my livestock of late, and if I can't put a stop to it, my farm's doomed. Seems clear a run-of-the-mill hunter won't cut it, so I'm in the market for a merc with solid tracking skills. We can start with... maybe the bar. So, let me get this straight. Rufus Shinra, the, the bar, was the bar right the here? Of the old one? I don't think I've been to here... Oh, there's nothing, okay. really is here where do you think they're hiding if it were me i'd go to a bar and try to blend in hey you don't think they're here right now do you oh great now i'm gonna be suspicious of everyone y yeah you gotta be careful around avalanche the anti hey i ain't doing responsible mm -hmm. for the bombings in Midgar what is believed to hey have mister calm. you a Security winner some say Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Vash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. <laughs> it depends on who, who you lost it to. What's the card? The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He stole it! Stole it? You lost it. Hey, Fair and square. I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You, you are? So then you know. She's so tough, it can be. I don't mind doing it, but I want to hear the dialogue. Is this going to turn it down or give me more dialogue? Let's try. Get it back yourself. Don't you think I would if I could? God! I'm a shit player, don't you get that? Whatever you say. Hardcore players are willing to throw down hell a gill for rare cards. Please, I'm begging you, you gotta get it back before that asshole tries to sell it. Did they increase the... what do you call it? The maturity rating for this game? I feel like they've been swearing a little bit more than in Remake. Not any F-bombs, but all the other ones. We'll take the job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? <laughs> okay. Worst thing that'll happen is I lose and you don't get anything. I can't get it back for you. It doesn't really change too much, right? It's fine. Oh, okay. This is gonna be... <laughs> this is gonna be quite a bit, isn't it? Let's... Let's mulligan one of these dudes. I feel like we we want to advance. Like, advancing forward is a thing that we want. Hey, this Queen Bee? The board that it shows has five lanes. And, like, what's... Oh, I guess it, it's supposed to show that you're supposed to put it at the very bottom. I say, okay. I was just wondering, because if you put it in the middle, in the middle lane, it'll never do anything. And that's no good. Starting with the security officer, probably always a good thing. I still gotta slowly learn this. Well, they thought the same thing. They thought the exact same thing. I want to go forward. He... Hmm. That's a new card. Haven't seen that one before. Whoa! What was that? What did it just do? I can do a three. Okay, we need to start putting down some of these cards. The middle, we're currently winning. Alpha Dunk, as soon as we put it down, I feel like we're gonna win that lane. 
Ah, but I can increase my... Look, I, if I use the queen bee here, I can get a new slot up here. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see. I think I have some semblance of strategy going on, because now I can... What I can do is I can put a... Moo here and make this... Hmm... Do I need to, though? No, let's put down the Grassland's Wolf first, because if we put a thing right- if we put a card here, then anything behind me, they can't get access to it. It's blocked off. So it's more important that we advance forward first, I think. Just sharing my- my preliminary thinkings on Queen's Blood. I'm not really a card player again, but trying to learn here. Right, so I can use the Queen's Bee to get a spot at the bottom. But then, they'll probably end up taking it back if they put something down. That's the scary part. Oh, I don't have any more... Ooh, I don't have any more, um... Level 1 cards to play. That's not good. In that case, Magic Pot. I can't do that. June Sweeper... Ain't gonna do too much for me here. Yeah, I can't even use this spot. It's sort of lost. I might lose the last lane then. Right now, the second lane... Ooh, this is looking pretty bad for me, actually, I think. Not looking good. I don't think I can change too much, though. This might be it. Yeah, because they're gonna put more down, and then they're gonna get more than me. Oh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Oh, this is a little too late, because I can't... I can't do too much more. I guess all I can do is... I've lost. I've lost! You see? I've lost the Vash! That's not good! How are we gonna get his card back? That's really not good. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I can't do much more. Advancing forward, but we also need the... Um, hmm... Yeah, we need to grab those positions. This is not good. He's right. I wasn't good enough. <laughs> I wanted to see what he would say about it, though. But... Let's see, let's see. Maybe I think a little bit less this time. Mmm, I, I gotta mulligan that. Maybe my... My... I need to mulligan a little bit more. No, this time we're fine. Because we have more level 1 cards. Starting off with a sentry is always going to be a good bet, though, right? Right? Probably? Advancing forward is important. Just keep advancing forward, if we can, a little bit more. You can get all that, but can I get any of it back? Yeah, we should try to move forward if we can. Oh, this is great. The Levercon is great here. But now I, I want to be careful not to focus too much on the middle lane, because I feel like I've won the middle lane, unless if they put down an Alpha Dunk. Oh, they have a level three slot. That's not good. All right, all right. So, I can put down a Queen B to get a slot above. If I put it here? Okay, that, that lane is already... I don't think we need to worry too much about it for now. Oh, you know what, though? If I do the Grassland Wolf here, I can get this part. Oh, shoot! Wait, you can convert it all to be yours. Oh, oh, see, I'm, I'm doing the thing... No, 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 that's not... That's too much, though, because I... I don't need... I already won the middle lane for sure. I don't need that last spot. It's fine. They can have it. Now I gotta worry about... Let's see... What would be the best here? See, this is gonna not do anything. This won't do anything. The J unit sweeper is only the most effective in the middle. Okay, okay. Here. Are you done? 
Are they done already? Oh, <gasps> really? Well, I can just put down a whole bunch of stuff, I guess. Oh, the Moo had an ability. What was that ability again? I haven't really been paying attention to it. We won. We already won. We don't have to do this. Okay. Well, we won by a lot this time, so that's that's good, I think. It means some some type of learning is happening somewhere. Are they done? Are they if they're done, I'm just gonna go. Advancing forward, converting my enemies' positions to mine, and then worrying about the three lanes all at once. <sighs> okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil, no prob! And that's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mine kicking his ass for me. And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Okay, sounds good. By the way, the radio has changed, I think. The suspects remain at large, though public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators. And do what? And Take them to jail? With any information to step forward. Information which leads to an arrest is subject to a reward. Yeah, we'll face Virgil later on. Let's spread it out a little bit. Calm's wine grapes are very 